In the last five years, I think that we have a piece of technology that can truly change the world. I think that people have really powerful computers in their pockets, but they're not getting the most computer out of what's in their pocket. And I think that this is truly one of the big disappointments that me as a tech enthusiast have when I see other people with their Samsung phones not using DeX. Now, before you click off this video, I want to go ahead and give you guys three non-power user use cases that you could use Samsung DeX for. I know that normally when we talk about Samsung DeX, we have uber nerds talking about Raspberry Pi and Linux and virtual stuff. And today I wanna to simplify that to the three things that are the most accessible and three of the most basic use cases that can totally improve your quality of life. Now, if you're new around here, my name is Mitchell. I'm fluent in tech, so you don't need to be. And I will have links to the products I talk about, although today we're really not talking about products. Now, maybe one of the biggest barriers to entry that people have with Samsung DeX is a hub or some way to get a video feed out of their phone, which is why I think that this product is so revolutionary. Uh, this is the Ace Fast 60 watt USB-C GAN HDMI hub slash charger. This is an awesome product because if you don't want to actually jump into Samsung DeX, you just wanna buy a high quality GAN 60 watt charger, possibly for your laptop. This device provides that. You also get a really high quality Thunderbolt cable, which will do HDMI 4K 60 uh, over USB type C Thunderbolt connection. This product, I will have linked in the description down below, but this is awesome if you're not sure that you wanna actually convert and use DeX flat out. Now, the first use case that I'd like to illustrate with Samsung DeX that non-power users can take advantage of is the fact that a lot of Android apps are not made for tablets. And thus, because of that, you can have a fantastic experience multitasking on DeX with having two, three, or four vertical nine by 16 apps up on your display at one time. I have to script videos for other YouTube channels for other companies here in Vietnam, and one of them revolves around background noise. A few moments later. And one of them revolves around me using Instagram. Samsung DeX is easier to use for this than my computer because I can have Samsung DeX give me my Instagram feed open on one side with full touch compatibility. I can have my notes for this specific video on another one. And then in the third window, I can have Slack where I'm talking to my team of people that are helping me coordinate this video. This would never be possible on your Android device. And it would really only be possible if you had a Samsung tablet that also supported DeX. This is a great way to multitask at another level on your phone. Next is to actually utilize the built-in browser that you have to get real productivity work done. Now, I did a browser comparison of all of the different browsers for Samsung DeX, and I'll have that video linked up here for you guys. But essentially, I was able to use Canva, Vengage, and all kinds of other really heavy, really intense um, graphic design websites from within the native browser. Meaning if you normally use Microsoft Office Online, you don't even have to use the Microsoft Office app for Android. You can totally take advantage of that fully featured, really powerful website on your phone on a large screen. Also, a lot of those web apps are tablet friendly or are large display friendly and Canva on Android is a great example of that. If you guys have design work that you need to get done on your mobile phone and you don't wanna buy a computer. Now the third and final way that you can utilize Samsung DeX in a non-power user way is media. I know it might sound really odd, 
But if you're already using a Bluetooth remote for playing video games on your device, you can do that on a big screen. Or maybe let's say you're watching YouTube. Do you have an old TV? Do you have an old computer monitor? You can go ahead and watch YouTube, watch Netflix or watch other streaming services on that large screen. And I know that some of you are going to talk about restrictions for Netflix with Samsung DeX, but you can just mirror the display on your TV. You don't actually even need to use Samsung DeX. Although I think that using Samsung DeX for an entertainment hub is fantastic because you can get Kodi, you can get all kinds of other media TV like oriented apps and do those out via HDMI and even use Bluetooth headphones or do whatever you want to do all from your Android device. Now, this has been my three simple non-power user ways that you can leverage Samsung DeX. And in my opinion, not utilizing that mini computer that you have in your pocket is a waste of money. And I think that people all over the world that might not be able to afford an extra computer should be utilizing DeX with the displays that they have or even buying a dedicated display so you can get your work done, get your entertainment done, and ultimately just get more value out of your purchase. Until next time, it's Ed Mitchell. Peace.